Hi, this is Josh, and this tech tip is going to show you how to use the ZipLogix Digital Ink within Zip Forms. We're going to show you how to prepare a document for digital signatures using the free digital ink within Zip Forms. So here we want to send a document to be e-signed for e-signatures. So we're going to go up here and make sure you're in your File tab. Click File tab. Over here you should see e-sign. We're going to go click sign. We're going to uncheck the box here which frees up and unchecks all these boxes. And we're going to choose the document or documents we want to send. Here I want to send one page, an extension of time addendum to my buyers for signatures. Of course because we can't get an appraisal done in two weeks. So I'm going to go over here. This is all populated for me and I'm just thinking that uh, this message is fine. Uh, you can always add to it. And then we'll put that in the main message in their email. So we also want to uncheck this box. That way this clears out all these check boxes. And we want to send it to, in my case, buyer one and buyer number two. So we're going to check those two boxes. And this is not to be confused with the option of buyer or seller one and buyer or seller two. So I'm sending this directly to my buyers. So I want buyer one and buyer two. I'm going to go in here and populate their emails. Okay, I've got my emails populated. Now, one thing you need to make sure of, if it's a factor, these documents will be sent in order of this list here to the right. You can see buyer number one has a one next to it. Buyer number two has a two next to it. What this means is buyer number one will receive a request to sign their documents. Once buyer one completes their digital signatures, only then will it be sent to buyer number two. So if this is an issue for you and you need one person to see it before another person sees it, you need to make sure that you've got this order correct. So here, I know I actually need my buyer number two to get it before my buyer number one. How I'm going to arrange that is I'm just going to simply click here, buyer number two. Select here, buyer number two. Go over here and use the up arrow to bring them up above the other selection. So now I have buyer number two with a number one in the order and a buyer number one with a two in the order. So now buyer number two will get it before buyer number one is able to sign. So let's move on from here. We're going to click send now. Documents have been successfully sent. The signer will receive emails indicating how to sign the documents. That's it. That's as easy as it is. Once you get your email from Digital Inc. letting you know that your transaction has been completed by all parties, you're going to log into your zip forms. You're going to go to the transaction for the forms that you were signing. You're going to go to the transaction in which the forms you were sending reside. You're going to go up here to File. Make sure on the File tab, go to eSign, and now go to Check Status. Here we'll uh, choose the one we sent here recently. And as we can see here, our documents are complete. Both have been signed. And now we can download all the documents by clicking Download All.